Today I'm going to go over the Level Smart by Kono Labs. It's a wireless autofill for your pool. So basically, you're going to replace your manual fill valve with this remote valve here. And you're going to use this connected to this. And this will be what will go on your tile in your pool. This part will actually be glued onto one of your pool tiles. I'll show you that when I do that. So basically, I'm going to go over the whole installation and setup of the Level Smart system. So if your pool has a manual fill line like this one here, I'll show you some other variations also. You can replace it with a level smart system and it'll fill your pool automatically for you. Fill line right there. And here's a brass fill line with some galvanized pipe going into the ground. So you would just take this part off. Here's an interesting fill line coming out of the house here. You would just put the Toro valve right here. Here's a typical fill line that builders will put in in my area in California. If you don't have a manual fill valve at your pool, you can still install the Level Smart. You just need an alternate water source. You need to plumb the valve directly into your pool pump return line, like in this diagram right here. So here's the Toro valve that comes with the kit. I'm going to go ahead and install it right here. I have a vertical fill line for the pool. I turned the water off already to the house. Off. After you cut that valve off, you want to go ahead and use some threaded fittings here. Go ahead and use primer and some PVC cement to put those on. Wrap it with Teflon tape. You want to go two or three times around clockwise with the Teflon tape. Putting a shutoff ball valve here. It's good to have on there so you can control it. You can also change out the valve if there's a problem with the valve later on. You'll want to make sure that you have all the fittings on tight. You want to make sure that you also have the flow in the right direction. See the arrow pointing that way, that's where the way it's going to go with the flow of the water to the pool. So I'm continuing to build the valve right now, I'm putting the unions on. I'm going to go ahead and insert the valve right now. And that'll complete the installation of the remote valve for the Level Smart system. Everything looks good. I have the water running. It looks like we don't have any leaks here. That's a good sign. That's how you install a valve with threaded fittings, teflon tape, and some unions. I'm going to go ahead and wire the level smart to the valve right now while it's drying. This is the antenna. This is the part that plugs into the plug. And this is the part that goes on the remote valve. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on right now. These are the two wires from the remote valve. Doesn't matter which wire goes where. So I'm going to go ahead and twist these together. Make sure I get a good connection. I got the cap, got the other one. This is really easy to install. You don't need to hire a professional to do this. You, the only thing you might need is someone to do the valve for you if you're unfamiliar with plumbing. But again, that's also pretty easy to do. Plug in the Level Smart to the adapter here. Way only. Goes in like this. Computer plug, kind of. Tighten the thread here. Should be able to get a good seal on it. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in here. Okay, so you can see the Level Smart is booting up right now. Lights are flashing. Sensor good. Sensor active. Okay, so that connected fine. Give you the valve in the off position. Let the Level Smart fill your pool for you. So I'm going to go ahead and install this sensor here that goes on the tile, the level sensor. You can see this is the minimum, best level and maximum levels. It's important to install the level sensor facing the antenna. I'm going to install right here in this corner and the antenna is going to be right over there. I'm going to clean the area. Put a piece of tape right there. I'm going to put the level smart right here and this is where I'm going to mark it. So it's going to be at this level. Okay so it comes with the epoxy. I'm going to get it out here. You want to mix this up good. It dries fairly quickly. You want to get it to its that one color. This is waterproof. I can already feel it sticking to my fingers, so it's already starting to coagulate. So 
I have it on here good. I have my marker and the tile. I'm going to push it on here firmly. I'm going to hold it for about two minutes. Okay, so it's on there good. It's not too bad. Once the water level is up there, it won't be as noticeable. Seeing it on there right now. Okay, so now the antenna here has to be in line of sight of the level sensor here. I have it over there. So by removing the magnet right now, while the water level is so low in the pool, the water will fill up just to the lowest level on the level sensor itself. And tomorrow I'll reset the water level. You want to keep this magnet also because you can reset this device also and also to reset the sensor if you need to. So I've got two green lights, everything is good. So where I have the level sensor mounted, it should tell the control unit that the water level is low. So it should turn on for seven minutes every hour. So back here the next day, you can see overnight it filled up pretty good. It's at the bottom of the level sensor there. That's what happen when you fill it up when it's not at the desired level. It'll stop at the bottom level on the sensor. I'm going to go ahead and add some water and raise it to the, to the level I want. Put the magnet back on also to reset the unit. Okay, that's where I want the water level. I'm going to go ahead and take the magnet off. Just a quick installation note, you don't want to mount it too close to a waterfall or a spillway feature. Splashing of the water will upset the sensor. That one's far enough away where it won't affect it. So once you reset the level sensor with the magnet, there's no need to come over here and reset this control panel with the magnet. Okay, so the magnet that comes with the level smart is used to reset the sensor. If you want to reset the level smart sensor water level, you would use this on there. Also, you can use it to reset the control unit by placing it right here in the square. That'll reset the unit. Also, you can use it to test the valve, see if the valve is working. So the magnet comes in handy to do all that. You're going to need to keep it if you want to reset your water level on the level sensor or if you need to reset the whole unit. This is what the magnet is for that comes with the unit. You can also test the valve to see if it's working by putting the magnet on here. Less than 20 seconds, it should come on. Pull it off, you see the valve activated. And if you leave it on for more than 20 seconds, you'll reset the unit. You'll be searching for another level sensor, so make sure you just put it on there for a few seconds. Pull it off and the valve should activate. Okay, so the water level dropped enough for it to activate. You see the valve light on. It's been on for a couple minutes now. So it should turn off in about five minutes. And it should be turning itself off in about a minute or so. It's been about five minutes. There it goes. Just turned itself off. You can see the valve light turned off here. So everything is good. Sensor is good. Got the antenna here. Everything is working great in this pool. That's a quick look at the Level Smart Wireless Water Leveler for your swimming pool.